<laughs> well, hello there YouTube, I'm Mr. Gibson Guy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking a break from the usual photography, motorcycles and gun videos that I normally make to make a video on what appears to be the biggest topic of interest right now. And that is, here it comes, will Michelle Obama replace Joe Biden on the Democrat ticket? Hmm. All right, now, I'm going to try to present this in as neutral a way as possible uh, and just report my observations on the subject. That way, I will anger everybody on both sides and generate lots of hostile comments, which drives the algorithm and brings more exposure to my channel. So, let's get going. I want you to make your own comments after I finish this and tell me what you're saying, thinking on it. First point, and things are so obvious. When things are obvious, look somewhere else. Uh, the first point, Michelle Obama has stated repeatedly that she is not interested in running for president. Okay, she said she's not interested. So, that's it. Video's done. We can all go home now. Wrong. Nobody, nobody in the history of bodies has ever said they want to run for president until they announce they're running for president. Me? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm not interested. I, I couldn't do that. That's my, that's the furthest thing in the world. I have everything else to do rather than that. Oh, but when I do, you'll be the first to know. Let me put you on my mailing list. So, yes, when somebody says they're not interested in running, they are just seeing how much they can deceive fools who just listen to these things and say, Oh, she said she's not interested. We shall see. All of this drama that suddenly broke wide open after Biden's awful debate performance looked way too scripted to me. I watched the debate live on CNN uh, with no color, color commentary telling me what I was supposed to think. And I was immediately shocked right at the beginning by the hands-off approach of Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. Normally, they would be filling Joe's answers in for him while flinging flaming arrows at Trump. But there was none of that in this debate. They just let the candidates debate and kept out of it. That is unusual. I admit, admit I have not seen neutral debate monitors since 1980 and the Carter versus Reagan debate. There you go again. So ever since the debate, we have been experiencing a deluge of media coverage. Is Biden in? Is Biden out? The media is seesawing back and forth. Oh, we got to get rid of Biden. No, Biden needs to stay in. No, the donors say they're not going to support Biden. Oh, everybody says they're going to vote for Biden, even though he's approval rating keeps climbing down lower and lower into the basement. Doesn't make much sense to me. But then, just a couple of days ago, a new poll suddenly appeared out of nowhere showing all the other potential Democrat replacements for Biden lose to Trump. The one exception being Michelle Obama. There's that name again odd that she has no intention to run, but she's leading in the polls, or at least this one poll, anyway. So Michelle Obama demonstrated very little more than contempt during her eight years as First Lady. She did demonstrate a notable interest in international travel and in lavish social events. Uh, well, as luck would have it, a solution is close at hand. Michelle just happens to have a strong, a strapping young Muslim socialist. Oh boy, I pissed some people off. Yes, 
That was a direct quote of Barack Obama describing himself. Just uh, look, look on YouTube for strapping young Muslim socialist and you will see Obama's picture up here right away as he said that, claimed that in a speech. So don't get mad at me for pointing out something, for quoting something that Obama said about himself. I'm just using his words. Ah, well now I lost my place. Where did I go? Oh, here, I'll start again. Strapping young Muslim socialist, his words. Husband, with a very strong desire to once again kick his feet back up on the resolute desk. All Michelle needs to do is get elected. Then appoint Barack as her new prime minister, or whatever cutesy czar title they happen to come up with. And then she can load the girls and their friends all up on Air Force One and wing off to destinations unknown on the taxpayer dime. She'll love that. That'll be easy. Remember, presidents do not follow any set schedule unless that president elects to do so. Reagan loved riding horses on his ranch. Bush loved facing, uh, uh, this is George H.W. Bush, loved facing the Kennebunkport surf in his motorboat. Clinton hit the links when not cruising the White House intern pens, checking out the new talent. George W. drove his pickup truck up and down the dusty roads of his Texas ranch. Presidents generally can dictate their own schedule. Joe Biden has shown us that the country goes on even despite an incapacitated dementia patient for a president. So could Michelle Obama be imposed upon enough to interrupt whatever it is she's been doing for the past eight years to save democracy and prevent Trump from appointing himself world dictator? What do you think? There's not really much choice in there, obviously. There's only one answer. The plan appears to be to keep old Joe straddling the fence for as long as possible while Trump wastes his time and money running against Joe. Then, at a pre-appointed time, Joe will suddenly suffer a massive heart attack or maybe indigestion. And uh, we'll have to step aside from the race. The Democrat Party will immediately proclaim Michelle must be allowed to step in to save Joe's office. Forget about Kamala. She's out of the picture. It's uh, Michelle's time now. Bye bye, K. And in sympathy, ballots are modified to allow Michelle to supplant Joe, which unfortunately means that the hard fought ballot security procedures must be suspended because of this election emergency. The switch will result in once again stretching the election out for weeks and weeks while straggler ballots keep dribbling in. Finally, late ballots reach the number needed to put Michelle over the top and she is proclaimed winner. And we have eight more years of Obama. So, that's just my observations. But what do you think about this? Anybody going to suggest to President Trump that he should consider the impossibility that Michelle Obama may not be telling the truth when she says she's not interested in running. I know a whole bunch of people that they may be still be watching this are going, yes! And a whole bunch of other people at the same point are saying, no! But what do you think? I have plenty of comment space and my uh, channel is not so busy that I don't read all the comments that people leave and usually answer or put a like or response to what I have to say. So I would love for you to give me a response to what you think about this. I gave you my opinion. Give me yours. And on top of that, when you happen to type that out in the comments down below, that means everybody else who's reading the comments gets to read what you think about it too. So I'm giving you a chance, we have a real democracy here, for you to say what you think. 
hope you enjoyed the video. And tell me if you'd like more like this. Uh, it's kind of fun to do. Pretty simple. You use up some cardboard making these little uh, signs that I make to read off of. But I got a big box of it. So this is Mr. Gibson Guy. And until next time, thanks for visiting. I'll see you later.